Welcome back to Jeff Finnegan's Week, the uh, project where I just read to you the book Finnegan's Wake, or at least one page of the book Finnegan's Wake. I read it one page at a time, one day at a time, post it on the internet. Um, yeah. We're on a page number 72, and we're still on this list of uh, names that this dude was called, I guess. But also cool band names, I think. So, here we go. <clears throat> page 72. Scuttle to cover. Salary grab. Andy McNoon in Annie's room. All out. Twitch Brash Balls. Bombard Street Bester. Sublime Porter, a band for the King of Burgons, and a bomb for ye Sir of all Rutledges, O'Fellum's Cut Price, and at number Wan Wan Wan, what he done to Castle Costello, sleeps with feathers and ropes, it is known who sold Horace the Rattler, enclosed finds the son of Fingal, swayed in his falling, Wants a wife and forty of them. Let him do the fair. Epi G. Quani Chimmuck. Plop goes his wessel. Ruin of the small trader. He. Dash, dash. Milking honey beaver brooker. V was a vidner. Vin, vinder, vid, vindner. Sower rope, sower rapes, okay. Armenian atrocity, sickfish belly up, Edomite, hyphen, or dash hyphen, no, dash apostrophe, I don't know what that's supposed to be. Man devoid of the commoner characteristics of an Irish nature. Bad Humborg, Hrab Hrab, Cuckoo Handler, Dirt. Mitching Daddy, Born Burst Feet Foremost, Woolworth's Worst, Easy Ethic Philosophist, Guilty Pig's Bastard, Fast in the Barrel, Boost in the Bed, Mr. Fat Mate, In Custody of the Polis, Bowles Allocutionist, Deposed. But anachronistically, Anarcher. Antichrist. Anarchist. Anarchistically. Anarchist. Anarchistically. Anarchistically. Respectful of the liberties of the non invasive individual. Did not respond to solitary wedge word beyond such sedentary. Those in easy to kiss in wear for the passive restraint in the booth he was in to reach for the Hello Gripes and Ring Up Kimmage Outer, 17.76, because, as the fundamentalist explained, when at last shocked into speech, touching his wounded feelings at, in the Fuchiar of the Dominican Mission for the Socialist Party was on at the time, and he thought the Raumish devotion, known as the Howly Rousery, might reform him gone. That more than considerably unpleasant bulwucky before he rang off drunkishly pegged a few gladstones, all of a size, by way of final mocks for his grapes, at the wicket in support of his words eh, that he was not guilty, but, after he had so slonga volleyed, Recon reconnoitering through his semi subconscious the seriousness of what he might have done, had he really polished off his terrible intentions, finally caused him to change the bawling and leave the down the whole grumus of brook pebbles pong pang pong, and, having sobered up a bit, paces his ground owled diblin lion dub, the flay the phlegm, the flouty fresh fleshner. Purse, purse, Percy first. I'll splish the splume of them all. This back blocks bore brusquely put out something. Put out something. But you'll have to stay tuned <coughs> tomorrow for page 73. But that was page 72 of Finnegan's Wake. Good night. <laughs>